All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our playthrough of Call of Cthulhu on the Xbox Series X. We are in Chapter 7, The Nameless Bookstore. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back to the painting. He later discovered the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to play, pay the library a visit. Is it a library or is it a bookstore? Um, really, the painting called The Shambler, probably from Sarah Hawkins' Nightmares, it was really more like a dimensional rift. Join me as we enter madness. Okay, that's blood. Where's the bookseller? He's dead, because there's blood on the door, you dumbass. All right, before we go any further, I have to check my mental state, because I have a feeling we are losing it. Uh, so let's get that to there. that to there so we're only two away from the next level of spot hidden uh, too bad we can't put points in the sanity uh, we are firmly around that bend we are on our way to going crazy uh, yep just catching up here to all the characters we have met, the places we have been. The Sanders house in all shades of red and in gold, kind of like my house, is impressive, but nothing matches the private gallery of Francis Sanders. The place is huge and entirely dedicated to his passion for troubling and macabre works. To face figures of virgins, sacrificial daggers, statues of monsters, and the painting that led to his demise takes center stage. The Shambler, a painting by Sarah Hawkins, a close friend of the couple. No, a close friend of Sanders. What happened in this room, I will never be able to forget it. Yeah, the painting opened a dimensional rift and like a spider with no eyes and a human head and like swords for arms came out and tried to kill us. That's what happened. A cult, dimensional Shambler, yep, you're dead. I never should have opened that book. Dagger of the Ancients, that's what slashed the painting and saved our lives. And the Shambler itself. Don't look too closely into that painting, you may go insane. All right. Clues, blah, 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 inventory. Oh, wait a minute. need these. I shouldn't have opened that book. Don't do that. Don't do it. All right, so the various things we encounter unlock these mental traumas, but the more mental and trauma you undergo, the crazier you get. So hopefully we can find some good occult stuff here. That's why I boosted up Spot Hidden. An old diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 4. I think we had Volume 3 or 2 before. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced he must listen to this voice inside his head because it holds the truth. 
In short, he was going crazy. Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. This it's practical the work that work laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Pardon me. This practical work written by Sigmund Freud for psychologists. Uh, there should be an S there. Describes the techniques of analytical interpretation of dreams. The analysis must follow several rules, especially that of free association. A principle. Wouldn't it be P L E? Announced by Freud at the end of the 19th century, it treats dreams as a way of revealing buried desires. I cannot believe that this theory is applicable to my nightmares. Alright, we are one tome away from getting to the professional level of medicine. Hopefully we find it here in this room. Alas, poor Yorick. Sorry, I'm having flashbacks to uh, L.A. Noir. Come on, there's got to be more stuff around here for me to find. All right. So we are now the professional level of medicine. Hey, let's turn on our light and see if we can find anything else around here. The Policeman's Friend The is... Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. I have no idea who Helen Blavatsky is supposed to have been. None whatsoever. join. As long as we keep finding books, I'll walk around here all day. History of Dark Water, Volume 2, blah blah blah, we like eating whales, everyone's gone. Now you don't have to read that. Alright, let's go into this other room here. like a skeleton of a primate, intestines, a baby, some other weird stuff, human anatomy, a Victrola, more history of dark water, I'm sure if we had spot hidden maxed out, there would be more stuff to find here. We just don't have it at high enough level to find any more. And I really would like to find some, oh there we go, oil for my lamp. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Right here. Blood. Seems like amateur work. Okay, they broke in. They... Someone tall left his footprint. A man, probably. How do you know they're tall? Based on their footprint. Because their foot is large? seems like a very odd conclusion to come from, from a footprint. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? Well, if he cut his hand punching through the door glass, yes, I would imagine he would be hurt. Maybe he severed a artery and lost a lot of blood. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? 
one who is not very good. What killed all these animals? I can't even see that. They're mice. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? This symbol, the occult symbol, marking this safe as something not to be touched. What the? Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? All over the cell of Francis Sanders. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Book. Evil book. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to this Sarah Hawkins case. She's hiding the book from her husband. We can't get into the safe because of the symbol. Let's look real quick at the diary. It says open the safe. Great. Zero CP. Medicine, 42. Occultism, 35. We need to find one more item to get to the professional level of occult ing. And we need two to get to a better level spot hidden. Taking a look at sanity. I don't think anything changed, although our mental state, again, dropped precipitously good god the nameless bookstore i've never seen such a collection of works on magic and occultism algernon drake the owner prides himself on being a luminary in the study of esoteric phenomena someone who sheds light on the subject the library was ransacked during an attempted burglary Apparently by Charles Hawkins in an attempt to get a tome out of the safe, perhaps a unholy book like the one we read in Francis Sanders' library or gallery or whatever you want to call it. Its back room houses a safe protected by an ancient symbol that is the same symbol we saw all over the cell of Francis Sanders. Maybe if we're smart, we get like a talisman or an amulet of that symbol and wear it. Or get it tattooed on our chest or something. Um, but that probably is not an option in this game because no one thought of it. Burglary. The nameless bookstore's burglar came through the door a bit further. Some knocked over objects allowed the trail to be followed into the back room. There, the mess next to the safe confirms the person's aim. However, there is no material evidence to support my hunch as to the identity of the burglar. Charles Hawkins did indeed appear to me as well as the star symbol on the door of the safe. I cannot determine the presence of Sarah Hawkins in my projections is a result of the unconscious work of my mind or whether it proves the case obsesses me. And then we added some more books to our inventory. All right, what is this? Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. The page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to read. If someone finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I'm in serious trouble. My last only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they may be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe. And the clues to the combination will be found in three cylinders each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. 
Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, orders the pleasure of reason, but disorders delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. Okay, I'll admit I'm a learned person, but I'm not getting the clues. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its content into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage, Armitage of Miskatonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you'll be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and you'll act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from you actions, your actions. So scrolling back up, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Where do life and study combine in the Greek world? In the desk? Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Hell yeah, they are. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? The key that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. So I need, I need to wear that. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of its heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. So we need to find that amulet. But that is not what we're talking about. So there are three dials. We're looking for three numbers. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. A collection of essays on American folklore and urban legends written by Albert Wilmarth, professor at Miskatonic University. Things that should not be. This volume is part of the Arkham Anthology, a luxurious collection of treaties and works on esotericism and the supernatural. How many volumes are there? That was volume this three. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Another volume. Arkham Editions. Another volume. How many volumes are there? In this Another collection? volume. Another volume by Another Arkham volume. Editions. Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. He Solomon Rituals of Invocation. How many volumes are there in this collection? All right, so we've got numbers two, three, and four here. So if we start here, another volume by four, Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Four. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Six. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Eight. Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this Seven. collection? Another volume by Arkham One. Editions. Arkham Editions. Two. How many volumes are there Three. in this collection? All right, so another volume by four. Arkham Edition. Arkham Editions. Is that four? how many volumes are there? collection. Another volume by Arkham Editions. 448. So we could try that first. Uh, change lock. No, I didn't. Uh, R rotate. 4. Change lock. Four and eight. 
says we still have clues left to find. Hmm. I have a feeling that as soon as we solve this and open the safe, old octopus arm is going to crunch in the door here and he'll be like, hey, thanks for opening that safe. Cylinders. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Cylinders. So these volumes are meaningless. Where's the phonograph? Oh, it's in the other room. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. Things I am are not willing looking to pay good. To know its secrets. So. We're looking for red marks in gold. Arkham editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Oh. Let's go back and listen to the other two before we keep rummaging around here like a moron. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. All right, so how many white chess pieces are left? One, two, three, and the queen? So it may be four, but I think we're not counting the queen, so there are three. So the second number is either three or four. For right now, we're going to call it three. And then that, if that doesn't work, we're going to get set at four. Hmm. All right, we'll put it at three for now. All right, let's see if we can decipher the third clue. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. All right, so I think that last number uh, might be eight. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume nine, Azathoth and other horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. 
So I guess he's saying, uh, what am I doing? Number nine there. I mean, that was very blatant. So if you're a genius hiding your code, you're not very good at it. So we'll say that's number nine. Now number one, red flex in a gold background. Red flex in a gold background. Is there a carpet or a painting or a cloth? Red flex in a gold background. Book here, no. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Red flex. Divine gold. All of the books in here are freaking red. Good grief. but that's going to screw our sanity up, so I'm not going to do it. No. All right, thank God. Uh, although, would that have given us an occult point? Hmm. All right. I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what to do. Uh... All these red books have like one thing in the middle of it. So all these what are those roaches, some rats. Let's try one. Okay. Nope. Uh, let me try four on the second dial. Nope. All right. So we're confident. I think about the last two. The first one, I just don't know. Strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Hmm. All right, so we're at the professional level now of occultism, but we also found all the clues. So I don't. Drake talked about a particular... So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake say about this collection? You really liked them? Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that... What did Drake say about this collection? 
Yeah, talked about Drake volume. talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. Volume 9 is not there. It's not there. And it says we found all the clues. Uh. All right, let's go to the investigator's diary. Open the safe. Blah, 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 blah. The Hound. Do not make the mistake of taking this jewel for an inanimate object. The soul of a powerful sorcerer devourer of bodies in the Lang cult a sect from Central Asia lies in this jade amulet. This very characteristic form, a massive hunting dog, represents the transformation of the sorcerer into a man-eating ghoul. Whoever unearths the amulet and wears it around his neck is at risk of the sorcerer's wrath. So obviously I don't want to do that. The latter will return in the shape of a formidable hunter to track and dismember all the filers. So, I mean, I guess it's good that I read that book the malarious bisterium even though it affected our um sanity that's where we got the knowledge for this i guess key that bears the elder signs we're still looking for that i think we figured out two and three I don't think we figured out number one yet. I think if we had read that book, it would just have been the Malarius Bastarium again, so. Let's go listen to the clue one more time. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Alright, so... And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie Damn fixed, it. set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. All right, so I've interpreted clue number two to mean the white pieces on the board with the exception of the queen. So there are three of them. However, like any good uh, clue, it could also be including the queen, which would be four. Same thing with the books. I took the third clue to mean book number nine is the most important one. He said he loved reading it. However, book number nine is not there. Um, so maybe you could argue, oh, it's supposed to be eight because uh, the other books are, those are there, nine is not. Um, so I, I just don't know about number one, red and a gold background. All of these books are red. Um, 
And the walls are gold, I just realized. Uh, but that can't be a clue. It's got to be a single digit number. Ooh. The Chalice of Knowledge. Ah. One, two. I see two. Three. Four. Oh, some of them aren't. Some of them are green. One, two, three, four, five. So there's the crack. One to the right of it. Two, three, four, five. All right, so that is the final clue. That number should be five, so we're gonna go with five, three, nine. Here. Booyah. Thus endeth chapter 7 of Call of Cthulhu. Ladies and gentlemen, we read the Necronomicon, and that probably adversely affected our mental state as well. You can also see the Necronomicon in a famous documentary called Evil Dead, I believe. Um, but that is neither here nor there. Anyway, that concludes Chapter 7. I appreciate you joining me. My call sign again is November 9. We are going to end our episode here. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. You're always more than welcome to leave a comment or subscribe if you want to see more. Call of Cthulhu here on the Xbox Series X. And just as a reminder, we are going to follow that up with a playthrough of The Sinking City. What's better than one HP Lovecraft games? Two HP Lovecraft games, and I'm bringing them to you back to back here on the Xbox Series X. Thanks so much, everybody.